What if the first real sign of alien life isn't found on Mars, or even in our own solar system, but on a strange ocean world 120 light years away? Astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope may have just detected a chemical fingerprint that, on Earth, is made only by living things. It's coming from a mysterious planet called K218b, and if confirmed, this could be the biggest discovery in human history. So what exactly did scientists find, and could this be the first hint we are not alone K218b? A new chapter in the search for life. As you gaze at the vast, unending night sky, glittering with billions of stars, a question that has haunted humanity for centuries rises again. Are we truly alone in the universe? Philosophers pondered it. Poets dreamed of it. Scientists searched for it. And now, in the age of advanced space exploration, we may finally be closing in on an answer. At the heart of this quest stands the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, our most powerful eye on the cosmos. Unlike any telescope before it, JWST peers into the infrared spectrum, capturing faint light that has traveled for hundreds, even thousands, of years. This ability allows us to uncover the secrets of distant galaxies and to study the atmospheres of alien worlds with astonishing clarity. And one of those alien worlds has just rewritten the rules of the search for life. Its name, K218b. A planet unlike any in our solar system K218b orbits a small, cool red dwarf star, about 120 light years away in the constellation Leo. At first glance, it seemed like just another point of light, one of thousands of exoplanets discovered in the past two decades. But when scientists took a closer look, they realized this world was different. K218b belongs to a rare class of planets known as sub-Neptunes. These strange worlds are larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune, falling into a category that doesn't exist in our own solar system. They are neither rocky Earth-like planets nor giant gas spheres, but something in between. This makes them both fascinating and puzzling. How do such planets form? What are they made of? And could they possibly host life? K218b orbits its star much closer than Mercury orbits our Sun. But because red dwarfs are cooler and dimmer, the planet actually sits in the so-called habitable zone, the region where liquid water could exist. This already made it an intriguing target. But when JWST turned its gaze toward it, the results went beyond anything astronomers expected. A breath of alien air. By using a technique called transit spectroscopy, JWST captured starlight as it passed through K218b's atmosphere. Each chemical in the air absorbed specific wavelengths of light, leaving behind unique fingerprints. The analysis revealed a blend of gases, water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide. These are all molecules critical to life on Earth, and their presence hinted at a complex, dynamic atmosphere. But there was one more signal buried in the data, one that left scientists both cautious and electrified, dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. On Earth, DMS is produced almost exclusively by life, tiny marine organisms that fill our oceans. Its detection on K218b, if confirmed, could represent the strongest potential biosignature ever observed beyond our solar system. The Hycean hypothesis this discovery ties directly to a bold new theory about what kinds of planets might host life. In 2021, researchers proposed the existence of Hycean worlds, a blend of hydrogen and ocean. These are planets shrouded in thick hydrogen atmospheres, beneath which could lie global oceans of liquid water. Unlike Earth-like planets, which must sit in a narrow habitable zone, Hycean worlds could maintain liquid oceans over a much broader range of conditions, even where Earth would be frozen solid or scorching hot. K218b may be one of these Hycean worlds. 
If true, it would mean that the universe is filled not only with rocky Earth-like planets but with vast, water-rich ocean worlds that could be teeming with microbial life. Why it matters? The discovery of K218b's atmospheric chemistry doesn't just add another planet to the growing catalog of strange and fascinating exo-worlds. It challenges the very framework through which humanity has been searching for life. For decades, astronomers and dreamers alike carried a single image in their minds. Earth 2.0 A rocky twin of our home, orbiting a sun-like star, wrapped in blue skies, oceans, and the promise of familiar biology. That dream has guided space exploration for generations. It shaped telescope designs, mission plans, and even science fiction. But what happens when the universe tells us that our imagination has been far too narrow? K218b is the answer to that question. It does not fit the mold. It is not Earth-like in the traditional sense. Instead, it is cloaked in a thick hydrogen atmosphere, likely hiding a vast global ocean beneath. And yet, despite these alien conditions, it may still be a cradle for life. This realization shatters our assumptions. It tells us that habitability is not a fixed concept but a spectrum, far wider than we ever believed. If K218b truly is a Hycean world, then the galaxy may be littered with planets that can support life. They might not look like Earth. They might not feel like Earth. But they could still nurture biology, adapted to environments unlike anything we've seen. Suddenly, the odds of life existing beyond Earth shift dramatically. Life may not be a rare miracle, it may be a natural outcome of the cosmos, appearing wherever the conditions are even remotely favorable. The road ahead but as thrilling as this possibility is, science demands patience. The detection of dimethyl sulfide, or DMS, a molecule on Earth associated only with biology, is not yet confirmed. Right now, it exists only as a tentative signal, a faint statistical whisper from across interstellar space. To turn possibility into certainty, astronomers will need more data. And that is exactly what's coming. Over the next few years, the James Webb Space Telescope will continue to train its powerful instruments on K218b, collecting new spectra, refining the signal, and peeling back the layers of its alien atmosphere. Other telescopes will join the hunt. On Earth, massive observatories like the extremely large telescope in Chile will push the limits of ground-based astronomy. In space, future missions, some still on the drawing board, may be designed with Hycean worlds in mind, capable of studying their skies with unprecedented precision. And further ahead, we can imagine missions that go beyond observation. Perhaps one day, in the far future, robotic explorers could journey across the light years to orbit K218b, map its weather systems, or even dip into its atmosphere. Probes could taste its air, search its oceans, and return evidence that life has taken hold there. K218b has already crossed the line from mystery to destination. It is no longer just a faint point of light in telescope images. It is a world with character, chemistry, and the potential for biology. A universe of surprises and so, we are left with haunting questions. Questions that stretch the human imagination. What secrets lie beneath K218b's thick hydrogen skies? Does an endless ocean spread across its surface, dark and silent, sheltering life that has evolved in total alien isolation? Will we one day confirm that DMS is not a false signal, but the first chemical fingerprint of extraterrestrial biology? Or will we uncover something stranger, an exotic chemistry that shows the universe is capable of building worlds beyond even our wildest dreams? For now, the answers remain hidden, locked away 120 light years from Earth. But every year brings us closer. Every observation, every spectrum, every breakthrough adds one more piece to the puzzle. The universe is not empty. It is alive with possibilities. 
And perhaps, just perhaps, with life itself. Maybe, right now, under the hydrogen skies of K218b, something stirs in a silent ocean. Unaware that across the stars, a species of curious dreamers is watching, wondering, and waiting for the day we finally meet.